Hi, this is Anne from Design Bundles, and today I'm going to show you how to make a 3D heart with the Mesh tool in Adobe Illustrator. All right, let's get started. Okay, we're here in Illustrator, and I'm just going to come up here to Create New. We'll come up here to Web, and we'll choose Minimum. And the reason I'm choosing Web here is because it gives us some brighter colors to use the RGB color space. All right, so let's create and I've copied a 3D heart that I found on uh, Google. And when I found this one, I just searched for heart stress ball. So that's what this is. And I'd like to mention that it's okay to use Google images as practice, but please do not use those for any kind of actual designs you're making because there's a really good chance it's copyrighted and you'll be infringing on someone's copyright if you use it. But it's totally okay to practice with them. Okay, now I'm going to get my layers up. So I'll hit F7 and I've got a layer here. I'm just going to create a new one and I'll lock this one that has the heart on it. Now I'll get back on layer two and I'm going to draw half of this heart. And to do that, I'll hit P on my keyboard to get to my pen tool. I'm just going to click right here in the middle and then get to the uppermost area of the heart and click and drag. Now I'll go to the farthest right of the heart and click and drag. And it's okay to hold shift too. That will leave your handles uh, up and down or to kind of snap to an angle that way. And now I'll go to the farthest at the bottom that I can go and click and drag. Okay, so we have half of our heart and that's looking pretty nice. I'm gonna click on my last anchor point and just complete the shape. Okay, now I'm gonna select that piece Command C or Control C to copy, and then I'll paste in front, which is Command F or Control F. I'll hit O, which will bring me to the Reflect tool, which is right over here, and then I'll hold Option or Alt on a PC and just click to establish a new anchor point. This anchor point is going to flip it right here, and I want it to reflect from right up here. So if I hold Option or Alt, it'll allow me to do that. And we want it to be a vertical, and we'll say, okay. So now we have the two pieces right here lining up together. Now I'll come over and go to Pathfinder and I'll choose the Unite Shape Mode. Hopefully that middle line will go away, but if it doesn't, you can use your A tool to select these pieces here and then come up here to Object Average, Object Path Average, and do uh, Vertical. So that will line those points up vertically, and then you can go to Pathfinder and Unite, and it should work well. All right, let's get back on our selection tool. And I'm just going to move this heart away from our red heart over here. And now we're going to establish our mesh lines, and these will help us get this rounded type shading. I'm gonna make sure the heart's selected completely with the V tool. Then I'm going to hit U to get to my gradient mesh tool. Now I'll just click along the top line and add a few mesh lines. You can't actually be on an anchor point when you do this, so you might have a little trouble with that, but just do your best. All right, and now I'm going to add them across this way. So we'll click here, 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 and actually that looks pretty good. Now we have all these spaces to color like our heart. I'm gonna click on my selection tool and we'll just select the whole thing. And then I'm going to hit I for my eyedropper tool, which is right over here. And I wanna pick a kind of mid range red. So I'm going to go with this color right here. And that's turned the whole thing red, just like a normal fill would be. Now we'll go in with our A tool, which is our direct selection tool. I'll hold shift and select all of these nodes across the top. And then I'll hit I on my keyboard and sample that kind of grayish white that's back there. Now I can deselect those by hitting shift command A or shift control A. Now I'm going to use my Q tool which gives me a little more control than the A tool when I go to select things. So I'm gonna select all of these points in here. So I'll click out here, and then I'm just going to draw in here, which will actually select those points. And now I'll hit I on my keyboard and we'll color these the darker red. 
Oh, it looks like I missed one, so I'll hit A, select that one, and then hit I on my keyboard and choose this red. We're already starting to get a little bit of that rounded look. Okay, let's go ahead and select some of these. I think I want this one and this one to be the real light highlights. So I'll hit I on my keyboard and choose that color. And once we're in here, we can also move some of these points if we want to. You have to be a little careful because it starts to look weird if you move them too much. All right, and I think I want these points to be a little darker down here. So I'll select those and I'll get right down here at the very bottom to get a kind of darker edge. I think I'll select these two and actually change those to this reddish color. All right, and this is looking really close. I'm gonna command minus so we can kind of compare the two. If I resize this one a little to fit on the artboard, you can barely tell them apart because Illustrator does such a good job of capturing the blends that happen in real life. And that's it. That's how to make a 3D shape using the mesh tool in Illustrator. All right, if you like this video and you want to see more videos like this, just hit the subscribe button and the little bell next to it and you'll be notified every time a new video comes out. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.